I have no idea what's going on. My brain can't process the current situation and is in a half panic state. I'll just drink something cold for now and try to calm down. Thinking this, I'm greeted by the familiar sight of my room, bringing me a sense of comfort. <laughs> well, at least you're not naked. Yet. Or not. The short haired girl is standing in the middle of my room, striking a bizarre pose. You're. Dark Fallen Angel? What the heck is that? What's she mean, Dark Fallen Angel Ninja? Is she a fallen angel or a ninja? She could at least choose one. <laughs> I love this dork. <laughs> no, I was just thinking you must be crazy. <clears throat> With her weird pose and smug expression, this girl is really pissing me off. However, her expression changes to one of suffering from one moment to the next. H hey, are you alright? <laughs> Wrinkles of pain appear in her face as the girl presses down on the bandage wrapped around her right arm. I didn't realize when I first met her, but now that I have a closer look, I can see that her two eyes are different colors. D does it hurt? I give up. I can't understand what she's saying in the slightest. <laughs> oh yeah, she's my little homie. I love her. I like to ask her exactly how she perceives the situation as anything remotely friendly, but more importantly, I'm relieved that the long-haired girl is finally wearing clothes. And no surprise, she's wearing the ninja cosplay again, which is barely even clothes. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> Phrasing pal! Easy. Yeah, I need to go release my powers with my throbbing right hand. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the long haired girl touches the arm of the short haired girl. <laughs> what the fuck? この空間の支配者と貴様でもね。は?お騒がせしてしまってすみません。まずは自己紹介からしましょうか。私は気境と言いまして、我らはクルキタテンシミンジ。ブラックベリー。この子は私と同じく。ミンチのスズラと。いや
What do you expect? You snuck into my house without permission, did as you pleased, and now to make it even worse, you claim you're going to occupy my room? I dial 911 on my phone. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> joke! <laughs> All that was a joke? So then what are your real jobs? I really should call the put. <laughs> so the Don starts to cry and clings onto me. Not much choice, I lay my phone on the table. Alright, then give me a good reason why I shouldn't call the police. <laughs> Kikyo folds her arms and lets out a pensive. Hmm. By looking at the two of them, it seems to me that this Kikyo is the more reliable one. Yeah, but Suzuron is the more entertaining one. And that's what I like. <laughs> Excuse me. Despite the unfortunate naked disaster which just took place, she seems to have a lot more common sense than Suzuron. So the only choice is to let Kikyo explain everything. <sighs> I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I said I'd say everything. So, <laughs> listen, I don't mind if you tell me that. Why do you feel like that's the appropriate starting point? <laughs> Apparently she doesn't have as much common sense as I'd originally assumed. <laughs> now we're talking. I mean, what? <laughs> Ma'am, I don't need to know what color your underwear are. I've seen what's under them. <laughs> your underwear do not excite me. I don't really care either way about that. But, body of hers. And black panties, huh? Especially if you're seeing her naked. When I imagine Kiki wearing black panties. All I can manage to do is swallow the huge lump that's formed in my throat. Can't relate. <laughs> no, nothing! When I snap out of it, I see Scizoron's face looming in front of mine. <laughs> I take a step back as Scizoron sizes me up with a suspicious stare. In an attempt to escape her gaze, I throw out another question. Why did you come to Akihabara in the first place? A mission. You're not going to start talking about the dark fallen angel ninja or whatever again, are you? <laughs> oh, I love her. Suzuron shrinks back as the simple act of Kikyo stating her name, trying to get an idea of the relationship between these two girls. <laughs> of course not. And forget about the mission, what are you doing in my home? So you just came in without permission. That's not permission. That's still not a good reason to barge in without asking. I wonder about that. Saying this, Kikyo lays something on the table, and I can see that it's a passport I had made a few years ago in order to travel. That makes sense. There's definitely a photo of me and my passport. And yet, you went ahead and used the shower and treated my room like it was your own home anyway. <laughs> Prepared? Prepared for what? I would never. How can you think that? Forget it, I'm calling the police. The craziest things come out of this girl's mouth. It's enough to make me want to call the police after all. Are you stupid? Of course I'm not actually going to. Suzeron turns her face away from me with a suspicious expression as if to say, I wonder about that. I'll try to forget about all the suspicions on my character that are being thrown in my direction for now. This is a question that I have to get out of the way before anything else. Are you two really ninja? An immediate answer. 
Then show me proof that you're a real ninja. Yes, good old proof. How about you don't do that? How dare you treat someone's home like that? Yeah, set me on fire. We'll not have it something boring or hard to notice. Or something that anyone, not just a ninja, could do. Yeah. Art of transformation. It's like transforming into an animal or a different person. Sure, if you can do it, then go ahead. Saying this, the two of them link hands and close their eyes. Whoa! Along with a sudden boom, my vision obscured by something smoke-like. The appearance of the two girls when the smoke finally clears is... Oh! That's, uh... They, uh, they... They, they transform into cat girls. Wow. Ain't that something. Uh... How am I supposed to react in this situation? This is cosplay, right? Two of them are now dressed in what looks like bikinis made of leather along with cat paw mittens. Honestly, it's difficult to find an appropriate expression for this. With this being the only thought in my brain right now, their transformation appears to be nothing more than an extremely revealing cosplay to me right now. I feel bad admitting this when they're looking so smug, but this really seems like nothing but cosplay to me. What cosplay is that? Even the girls themselves aren't aware of their own transformation. So, how exactly did you assume that this would prove that you're a ninja? <laughs> I see. What's up with the forced mrow? She's stuck on the end of her sentence. Uh, that makes sense. Even if this is your transformation art, it would be impossible to change into something other than a person. Secretly, I've been expecting they would transform into something cool, like a dragon or a wolf. Actually, even without the cool factor, I'd hope they would at least disguise themselves as a cabinet or appliance or whatever. What do you think? This is prop hunt? Nothing you're saying makes any sense. You have the part about transforming into a dragon, but what's the whole ta-da part? Yeah, <laughs> look at our ears though, uh, uh. <laughs> you're joking, right? What does she mean only their ears transformed? Why do they do such a half-baked transformation? Susan and Kikyo both lean towards me. Hey, don't get so close to me. True. That may be true, but... Two of them are practically shoving themselves against me in an effort to make me touch their ears. As they do, I feel soft things being pushed up against me, and with the sweet smell wafting from their bodies, any healthy thinking is quickly prohibited. <laughs> If I lay a hand on them at this point, it might just drive me mad. The girls are both naturally attractive, and I can't deny their cuteness either. Honestly, I'm having trouble knowing where to look. I wish they'd stop thrusting their bodies up against me like this. Fine, organize your both ninjas. Just give me some space. <laughs> Told you! Being scolded by Kikyo, Suzeron's face suddenly flushes red. <laughs> then, before Kikyo can even finish her sentence, she lands a punch right on my face. Ow! <laughs> Curled up in pain with my face clutched in my hands, these are the furious words I hear from above my head. Wait, what? What are you talking about? When I look up, I see Suzuma and Kikyo have undone their transformation and are back in their ninja getup looming over me. Kikyo is simply grinning unaffectedly, while Suzuma, on the other hand, looks really pissed off. I've 
wouldn't do that. Obviously, I wouldn't. First off, I'm an average guy, aren't I? Yeah, I'm just the regular Joe Schmo. Come on, you said so yourself. If I were up against two ninja, I wouldn't even have a chance. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. No. Are you two a ninja? Yeah, I guess I believe you. After seeing the ears on their heads, I can't... I can tell that it wasn't a headband or some attachable accessory. They were proper cat ears. It's hard to explain their hands and feet, but to put it simply, I guess you could say their skin assimilated with the fur. I don't know what's going on when it comes to the border between their skin and fur, though. More to the point, if I claim disbelief here, the whole situation will just repeat itself. When I think about the mental exhaustion that will cause, it's better just to say I believe them. <laughs> Facts. I did not say that. That's an entirely different issue. <laughs> hey, you said you would you would be happy with an attic space, right? That's what you originally looked for. Just go up to the fucking attic. Come on, y'all, let's stay here. I don't know. I could always send you up to the attic. Y'all seem pretty content with the attic when you first showed up here. I'm, I figure, why not? Yeah, well, your mission is to get in the fucking attic. <laughs> Live here, huh? Yeah, Kiki will do the housework. You will go in the attic. You won't? Well, I hope Suzeron likes attic spaces. That's not the problem. Oh yeah? I'll tell you what it's gonna take. Attic. Now. Oh yeah, that reminds me that they were talking about a lost wallet at the convenience store. Don't stare at me with those straight kitten eyes. <sighs> Fine. Just until you finish your mission, or whatever. <laughs> if you don't want to, then... <laughs> sure. Good! I'm glad we're on the same page here. Two girls grab what looks to be a cloth bundle of their belongings and reach for the closet door. Huh? You're really going to the attic? <laughs> Is that your logic? Even after giving them permission to live here, I wouldn't be able to rest easy knowing that they're living in the attic. I would. Anyway, the attic in this farm is tiny, not in any way space where someone could live. Especially not Kikyo. Think she could fit in an attic with those uh, big assets she's got going on? I can't allow that. As long as the two of you don't mind, you can live here in this room. I'll be able to relax if I know someone is living up there. The girls close the closet door and then lay their bundle of belongings on the floor in the corner. Also, you can sleep in the bed. Um, I know you'll be living here, but to me, you're still, like, guests. And I couldn't endure making you sleep on the floor like that. That's one reason, but besides that, I just don't want to make a girl sleep on the floor. I mean, I wasn't. But now that you've given me the idea... <laughs> oh, on second thought, maybe you should leave. I know that's not the way you intended to say that, that's the only way I can say that word nowadays. <laughs> it may be a little late for this, but something tells me that allowing them to live here was a mistake. However, there's part of me that thinks silly interactions like this might be a little fun as well. That's the whole reason I'm playing this. <laughs> Laughing like an idiot over something stupid reminds me of my school days. Do not call me master. Seems the two of them have been carrying out a conversation while I was reminiscing about said school days. The girl turns back to me and smile. Master. Well, yeah, no, my name's Homie. 
It's not that. Suzuran san. Kikyo san. Feel free to call me whatever you like. You mean your name? I wouldn't feel right being so familiar. <laughs> I swear, God, this is just like, and you can call me Dark Fallen Angel. <laughs> no, if you don't mind, Kikyo san. Oh, yeah, right. I get it. Kikyo. I feel embarrassed being so familiar with a girl. What about you, Suzuran san? Denied. <laughs> I can't call you something that embarrassing. <laughs> Shut up. If I can call you Black Bell, then I can call you. If I can call you Black Bell, then I can call you Suzuran. Huh? Considering how things are going, wouldn't the normal step be to take the san off her name as well? Why is she looking down with a bright red face? Hang on, why are you getting so red? <laughs> oh ho! You know what? Uh, really? Hmm, I see. Uh, oh. This may just be my own arbitrary impression, but I can hardly imagine Suzeron being called such cute nicknames. I feel the impression that Suzeron gives off is Suzeron. Calling her by her name feels most natural. Well, this isn't something someone who just met her a few hours can really determine. Hmm? I'm thinking about another way to call her if she doesn't like Suzeron when our eyes suddenly meet. What? Let me get this straight. <laughs> Let me set this straight. I'm not going to call you Black Bell. Hell yeah. I don't mind at all. It's okay with you, Suzeron. Yeah, Kikyo, Suzeron. Looking forward to it as well. This is how my life as the roommate of two female ninjas began. Go on. Turn away from the voice I hear and bury it deeper into my blankets. But when I do, the voice only grows in volume and intensity. <laughs> but I work the night shift. <laughs> Just when I hear a voice reach an even higher decibel, my body is suddenly robbed of all warmth. Apparently, the blankets have all been ripped off me. Wait, why am I hearing a girl's voice in my room in the first place? I remember having a girlfriend. Ugh. I sit up and shake my sleepy head back and forth. Is there... My brain must still be asleep, as I can only vaguely make out the figure of a girl standing in front of me with her arms crossed. <laughs> still trying to push this narrative, huh? When I finally get my vision focused, the silhouette of the girl in front of me grows clear. That smug face and bizarre pose. The events of the day before rushed to my mind in a flash. Oh uh, yeah, Suzeron and Kikyo. <laughs> Bell, yeah I know. <laughs> Suzeron's face looks chagrined, as if I had just knocked the wind out of her sails. I don't, I'm trying to sleep. The one who walks in from the kitchen while saying this is Kikyo, ladle in hand. Morning Kikyo. I nonchalantly exchange a morning greeting with Kikyo as I get up, then I take a big stretch. <laughs> About me, fucker. Morning, Black Bell. I greet her like this with the intention of poking fun, but a startled expression appears on Suzeron's face. It's only for an instant, the next moment she turns a smiling face towards me. <laughs> yeah. I never thought she'd be so happy, so I'm a little surprised. Hmm. Something smells good. When I look around the room searching for the source of the good of the good smell, my eyes meet with Kikyo's, who's standing here at the table. 
Oh, shit, yeah, what's for breakfast? You made breakfast for me? He did, but I never thought that she'd actually do it. <laughs> Why are you acting so proud? I'm not sure if that's really a reason, but whatever. Still, it really does look delicious. My stomach growls at the sight of all the dishes lined up on the table. At Kikyo's word, we each take a seat at the table and put our hands together to give thanks. 